Okay, so I'm on my way back into the brokerage. Um, we're gonna do a closing on a new Subaru. So I had a client um, reach out to me after going into the Subaru dealership and uh, wanted to see if we could help uh, just sort of cut through um, some of that noise there because they had to find a car from another dealer, get it in, um, and she wasn't too sure if she was getting the right deal on the lease payment, the lease factor. And uh, so she gave us a call and um, I had a 20 minute conversation with her about what um, was going on and figured out that uh, I could probably make one phone call, track down that car and get it in, which we did. Um, and so I think it was a great success there. Uh, we did all the things that we typically do at, at HM Brown. Um, so we saved her money on the, uh, the lease rate. So the lease factor alone was about $30 a month. Um, we found uh, some errors on the residual of the car. We, um, so we have the correct residual, obviously. Um, we also found some money, some extra money in her trade-in, which was at a Subaru. Uh, Subaru just holds so much value. So we were able to maximize that value and give her a check back as opposed to uh, uh, using that to, to the same payment. Um, also, Subaru was offering a no payments um, as a loyalty, and no first payment as a loyalty bonus right now. So if you're in a Subaru right now uh, and move to another one, a first payment is on them. That was pretty cool. So anyway, I'm in the, on the way into the brokerage to uh, finish up that, that delivery. Also today, we looked at a GS, a Lexus GS lease. Um, that was very interesting. Lexus is offering a $4,500 rebate if you are a lessee. So it's kind of a bummer if you're wanting to buy that car, but um, we have a way, a couple ways to go where we can utilize that rebate and uh, then purchase out the lease. So I'm working through that right now with a, with a client. Um, also working through the Genesis, um, the G70. Had a client reach out about the G70 and um, there's a lot that I've found out um, going on with the Genesis brand right now. So we can get G80s and G90s for folks uh, in Colorado, but right now G70s uh, don't look to be available. Um, so that'll be the next thing I look into to see if we can figure out a way to get G70s for our, our Colorado clients. Um, what else? Insurance, we'll do a little insurance. Um, had the same client um, with the Subaru today, she had an accident back in November, which uh, was uh, the fault of the other driver who didn't carry insurance and they didn't have a police report written up. So um, when she went to file with her insurance company, um, they went ahead and paid for the repairs, no problem, um, since she had full coverage collision on the car. Uh, the unfortunate part was she had to pay her deductible since the other party didn't have insurance and had no means of repaying that um, that deductible or, or any of that. So uh, she got her car fixed and then when I went to shop for her insurance, it is showing up on her insurance reports as an at-fault accident. So it's super important that if you um, if you make a claim with your insurance company to make sure that they classify it correctly, it's kind of hard to understand. Um, I had the same thing happen to myself when um, I filed what I thought was a comprehensive claim that was actually filed as a collision claim and it was affecting my premiums on, on one car uh, by $700 a year. So it's, it's not insignificant. So I encourage everybody to, uh, to take uh, a, or at least ask the question of when you file this claim, you know, how are they classifying that? It's, it's so important um, to what you're going to end up paying um, in the future for premiums. So. Anyway, I'm just about to the office, so um, that's the day. Talk to you soon.